Hey, it is your favorite half Persian, half African American NBA playing comedian, Kayvon in the house, and we're going to look at the number one most disliked player in the NBA. It's LeBron James. And if you think this is racial, guess what? People from all different colors and all walks of life don't like LeBron based on his antics on the court, based on his lack of intelligence, and based on the way he gets involved in political issues before doing the research. LeBron can tell you the stats of every basketball player, every three-point shot, every defensive player, and every rebound, but he can't seem to get the stats, but he can't seem to understand stats for the police. Nobody gives LeBron a harder time than Charles Barkley. Media person that I see in person for the rest of my life who try to tell me LeBron's ain't as good as Michael Jordan, I'm just going to slap the hell out of him right on the spot, and I'm going to take my chances with the judicial system. <laughs> with the stupidity and the ignorance of LeBron James, the most protected man in the history of American sports media. LeBron James on Wednesday afternoon posted a picture of a Columbus, Ohio police officer who had shown up at a near murder and saved the life of a teenager who was just about to be stabbed potentially to death. Saved that girl's life. And LeBron James didn't criticize the girl who had a knife in her hand and was potentially going to stab to death an unarmed innocent teenager. Instead, he criticized the police officer who arrived in that situation assessed the danger, and I believe saved the life of an innocent girl. LeBron James' comments were blank. Inappropriate, uh, whiny. Uh, Taylor, you want to follow up? Yeah. Um, so you're holding the autobiography of Malcolm X along with Alex Haley. I don't know how far you are into the book, but what's your biggest takeaway so far? Um, I kind of just started a couple days ago, um, but um, I've read and a, lot of, a lot of notes over the years. Um, it's my first time actually reading this from start to finish. Um, but just a very, um, very smart man, very, very, very smart man. And basically, um, his words in the, in the sixties and, uh, and what was going on is actually what's going on today. Still him understanding the, um, how powerful, um, the Negro can be. <laughs> he used that word a lot. How powerful we are, um, but we have to unite and uh, we have to be together. We have to stand strong because there's always going to be obstacles. There's always going to be, um, you know, things that's going to be thrown at us where they try to weaken us. Um, they try to fill up, make us feel like we're not kings and queens, um, and it's going to come from all, you know, different races and different si shapes and sizes and things of that nature. It's a pretty, pretty interesting book so far. If I was LeBron James, I would shut the hell up. Oh, I saw him reading a Malcolm X book, and, you know, he's all pro-black, this and that, and he's, oh, we got to stop it. We're afraid for our lives. And he's that puppet, that parrot that Malcolm X is talking about. Cardi B, that puppet. You know, these are pawns. They're not black leaders. These are uneducated people who just happen to have some money based on their entertainment skills or their you know, abilities to play sports, which that's fine. You know what I mean? But don't try to step into the realm of politics and, and don't start selling trash to other black people. Not going to see. You know, LeBron, I do say, I always say you're the best player in the NBA. It's time for you to come on home, bro. Shake your head. I've called LeBron James a bigot and a racist because LeBron James is a bigot and a racist. And I said it before, I'm going to call him that in every single video that I put out there about him. I'm not going to sugarcoat LeBron James whatsoever. I'm not a fan of his. He has destroyed the NBA, and he is a liar. Are you surprised that the Greek freak got more player votes than LeBron James did? I'm not at all, because I think the players like uh, Greek freak personality belt. LeBron is a great player and a great guy, but he's a, a drama queen. He is a mouth for China and a mouth for the Socialist Democrats. That's what he is. I call LeBron James a bigot. I wrote a column this week, headline, Whitlock, LeBron James is a bigot. You know, I got him sixth on my left, uh, excuse me, seventh, right behind Kobe. So I think if he wins, I think if he wins two more, I, I would move him ahead of Kobe. So not even in the top five all time. 
He's seven, Dan. Yeah, I know. Now, Warner Brothers wanted to make Space Jam 2, so they were like, well, who's the best basketball player currently? LeBron. He can replace Michael. Nope. There's a big difference. Likeability. You were what made the original Space Jam as amazing as it was. What do you think for Space Jam 2? Do they have what it takes? Uh, I don't know if it's going to be any good, uh, to be <laughs> honest with you. I mean, we made it the first time. It was awesome. Yeah. Not just because I was in it. It was a great story. Uh, and I'm never big on sequels. Uh, because the original is all, most of the time the best. Uh, so I wish him luck, uh, but I'm not sure how many people were clamoring for a Space Jam 2. Postseason, this is only our ninth game together um, in the postseason, so we'll get better with that. Did yeah, LeBron have a do-rag on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he don't have enough half for that to do anything. <laughs> like Athletes, sports fans, politicians, and political pundits all dislike LeBron equally. NBA superstar LeBron James is talking politics again. I know you guys are excited to see her. I didn't know you guys would be excited to see me, too. But uh, thank you. <laughs> as much as you guys would love to hear from me, I would much rather love to hear from our next president, Ms. Hillary Clinton. Here's a barely intelligible, not to mention ungrammatical take on President Trump in a new ESPN podcast. The number one job in America, the point of person, is someone who doesn't understand the people and really don't give a f about the people. Hey, LeBron, you know I love you. <laughs> you wrong, man. LeBron, you know I love you. LeBron got time for you to yeah. share your head, man. Yeah. Come on home. Come on, yeah, it's <laughs> over. But you're going to keep... It started right here. Bro, you got ways, bro. He did, did. It started right here, and now it's all the way up here. <laughs> but wait, there's more gripping insight. ESPN host Kerry Champion asked James and fellow NBA star Kevin Durant about what she described as Trump's racist comments. It's not even a surprise when he says something. It's not even a surprise. It's like laughable. It's like, it's that's laughable, bad. It's laughable and but it's, it's scary. It, but it's also scary. Right, because right. I shouldn't be numb to your racist comments. Right, right. I shouldn't yeah. be numb to your behavior. I'm numb to this commentary like, must they run their mouths like that? Unfortunately, a lot of kids and some adults take these ignorant comments seriously. Look, there might be a cautionary lesson in LeBron for kids. This is what happens when you attempt to leave high school a year early to join the NBA. And it's always unwise to seek political advice from someone who gets paid $100 million a year to bounce a ball. Oh, and LeBron and Kevin, shut up and dribble. Hey, did I miss any LeBron moments where he made himself look like a LeBone head? Put it in the comments. And if you like that video, I have 400 more. Most of them are comedy clips on caveoncomedy.com. And to keep real content coming, the stuff that Disney, CNN, MSNBC, and ESPN refuse to show you, then just put a little tip in the bucket. You can hit me on gofundme.com slash caveoncomedy. Venmo, paypal.me slash tanksgod, or become a Patreon or a local. That's all for now. I'm gonna go work on dribbling and reading page one in my newest book.